Welcome back to my GDevelop tutorial series. In this video we're going to be taking a look at how you can do sound and audio in GDevelop. So here I just have the button that we made earlier and I'm just going to go into the, to the events. And so I'm just going to make a click when you go over the button and a click sound when you click on the button. And so when the cursor is on the button all we have to do is add an action, go over to audio and then play a sound. So I'm going to choose the sound file. This is just going to be one of Kenny's sound files. And let's just do rollover one, just because why not. So then we can change the volume, so it is 100 by default, and the pitch or the speed. So we're just going to do one just to play it normally. You can press OK. And now if we play it, it plays over and over again. And that's because we haven't done a trigger once condition, which makes sure that you can only do a certain thing once in the time that it's doing it pretty much. And so you saw that that was just repeating over and over again. If we add a trigger once while well, true, it will only do it once. There you go. And that's how you do that. And so then when you want to do it when it's down, then you can obviously just add an action here, change the audio, play a sound, choose a new file, and then go to where you saved it. And let's just do mouse click. Okay. Um, I'm not going to touch these because obviously it's 100 by default and 1 by default. And so you don't need to touch these unless you're changing them, technically. So now I can press play. We have the rollover. And the click doesn't work. Hmm, we look at that. I think maybe that's because of the trigger once. And so if we take that out. Yes, it will do it. And so the trigger once while true stops this from working. And so you could then either pull this out and just copy this here. Or you could leave this in here, but make a copy of this with just the sound in, which is what I'm going to do. And so I'm going to copy this and then drag the sound in and this is going to have the trigger once not the not this one without the sound so when we press play you see it works and we have to click sound when we click on it and so you can do this for UI you can do this for in-game sound like when you die you can have someone go Ugh! or something uh, you can do this for like walking sounds for getting coins power-ups or whatever and that's pretty much it music you can do quite easily as well I don't have any music on me but if you wanted to have music you could just make a new event where's this event gone just make a new event and then just do like at the beginning of the scene and then go to audio play a music file and then it will choose the, the music Okay, so basically what this means is it won't play the music unless you do something with the game. And so if you've just loaded the game, then it won't play the file unless you click on it or unless you press space or whatever. And so that's just a limitation with the browser. And so you can then repeat the sound. So if you wanted a looping music in the background, then you can press yes. And so you can just choose the audio file, press OK, and it will just play it at the beginning of the scene. So I hope this helps you. Have fun putting sound in your games.